<laughs> what are you doing, Harry? <laughs> oh my god! Cheers! <laughs> Stay tuned! Yay! This year, Korea.net begins the series Hidden Charms of Korea on cultural and tourist spots. For famous places easily found on the internet, we approach them from new perspectives focused on people and their stories. Also, we cover ordinary spots that are often overlooked to promote them as potential tourist attractions. Thus, readers can discover attractive aspects of the nation hidden throughout the country. I'm at Seoul Nambu Terminal. Here, we are going to take a bus and go all the way to southern part of Korea, Namhae. Let's go meet Hyeon. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. See them means we are going to Gyeongsangdo province. The first destination of the series is Namhaegun County in Gyeongsangnam-do province. Namhae is the fifth biggest among 3,300 islands in South Korea. Located in the southernmost part of Korean peninsula, Namhae is a five-hour bus drive from Seoul. It offers the perfect place to take a stroll amid an unadorned view of Korea's fishing village as well as discovering old stories. Hi guys, I'm Hyeri. I'm Hyeong from Korea.net. We finally got to Damhae. This is Damhae bus terminal. After five long hours, we are finally here. Why are we here? Yeah. Today we are going to discover some hidden charms of Namhaegun County, Gyeongsangnam-do province. And we're gonna hear a lot of stories from local people here and we're gonna see a lot of beautiful places here. If you're curious what kind of places we're gonna visit, stay tuned! Yay! <laughs> Where are you at? I'm at Hangpyeong Soruji, and you can see a lot of beautiful flowers here, mm. like red tulips, yellow tulips, and canola flowers. Watch out! We are going to have a lunch in a very local restaurant. We get all the specific made from different ground ingredients. There's seafood. This forest is artificially made to protect the village from the wind and the waves of the sea. As you can see, it has a beautiful and peaceful atmosphere. And you can smell the sea and you can smell the trees. So peaceful. Windbreak forest of the village of Mulgonli on the coast of Samdongmyeon township is an artificial forest created in the 17th century to protect the nearby farmland and village from waves and wind. Comprising an estimated 10,000 trees spanning nearly 100 species and planted along the curved coast, the forest is popular among tourists seeking a secluded walking trail. The forest has a bigger role than simply protecting the village from strong sea winds and waves. Every October 15th under the lunar calendar, the villagers hold an annual ritual in front of the forest wishing for the peace of the village and bountiful catches for the fishing industry. Longtime village resident Kim Jae-myung told us that this forest is inseparable from the community of the village. Hello guys. This is the second day of Namegun County. As you can see, it's a little bit cloudy, but I think it's so peaceful. Can you hear the bird chirp? At Gyeongnyeonang Port in Sangjumyeon Township, a boat leaves every two hours to Nodo Island, where Joseon Dynasty scholar Kim Manjun was exiled. To get to the columnar joints in the village of Yangari requires rental of a yacht from Namhae Marine Lab Ports located near this port. While waiting for the boat, enjoy hearing waves crashing on the pebbles near the port. Are you 
Safety first. Oh my god, look at this. Located 20 minutes by boat from Pyongyang Port, columnar joints are in shape of pentagonal or hexagonal columns as they cooled after a volcanic eruption. According to the captain, major attractions include a Dragon King Rock and Turtle Cave. Back in the day, uh, when the local people didn't recognize this was the columnar joint, they called this rock a piano rock because they look like a piano piece. What do you think? Do they look like a piano piece? They do! Yeah. It'll be ideal if you can visit this place on a sunny day when the waters are calm, but it wasn't our case. Yet, we tried our best to enjoy each moment of this dynamic ride and it was actually fun. I loved to feel the wind on my face and the scenery of lands from the sea was amazing too. It's a short ride, but in case you get seasick easily, I recommend you to take some pills in advance. After a 30 minute long ride, we are here. We are back to the port. That was one dynamic ride. So much fun! I loved it. <laughs> Tarangi village in Namyeon township is famous for its terraced rice paddies located on a steep hill near the ocean. Back in the day, mothers in the village built this high stone ward by carrying stones and rocks from Seolhe Sun Mountain and cultivating the barren field for their livelihoods. The village boasts its beautiful view when looking down from the mountainside as well as looking up from the seaside, which makes it one of Namhae's most beloved tourist spots. Nowadays, there are a lot of nearby cafes and restaurants here, so how about stopping by at one and spend some time to enjoy food while appreciating the view? This place is famous for taking the Instagrammable picture. You look good! Hey! Who's gonna sit next to her? Now we are at a restaurant in Tarengi village. Can you see? We are having hemul pajeon, which is seafood pancake, salty one. And we are also having yuja makgeolli, which is rice wine made with yuja citrus fruit uh, produced in Namhae. It's very um, sweet, but also it's not that sour, but has a wonderful fragrance. Very refreshing fra fragrance. And what's best is that <gasps> the landscape of this place is amazing. So we are enjoying not only the food, but also the view. We are happy. So this is yuja bakgeolli, yuja rice wine. And cheers in Korean is gongbae or jan. So which one do you prefer? Jan. Okay. Ah, there's it. Jan! Annyeong. I can meet so many kids in Namhae and this was one of them. Welcome. This small wall near the village was full of carved names, mainly of those who wish for eternal love. <laughs> what are you doing, Hedin? <laughs> I'm writing your, your initials. Yay, H. Y. Oh, blank space. <laughs> 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 Did you catch it? No. In Korea, there is a rumor that if you catch a flower that falls, your love will come true. Wow, really? Yeah. Catch it! I <laughs> Try failed. to catch it! <laughs> On our way to have dinner, we stopped by here and just enjoyed the moment. Can you explain your dance moves? This is hula dance that I recently uh, learned. Yeah? This means tied. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> Hyeong, where are you now? What are you gonna have? Uh, if you come to raw fish restaurant, which is Hwesikdang in Korean, you have your main dish. The raw fish like this, but you can have also side dishes. Today we are here at Kemangsa Temple. 
This is not a well-known place in Namhae, but it has the most amazing uh, natural spectacle. They are welcoming us. <laughs> Don't panic if you encounter this doggo at the entrance. He's just a friendly and a bit enthusiastic dog welcoming the visitors. Usually, visitors can look around limited area only. But if you ask Venerable Chibong, chief monk of Kumangsa Temple, he might show you some hidden bits of the temple, including this amazing view from the peak of the mountain. But be ready to climb some steep stone stairs. It might feel like an eternity, but it's going to be worthy after all. There are a lot of these little statues of Dong Da Sung. They look all so cute. Another Dong Da Sung. Don't forget to drink water from the temple. At most of the Korean temples, there is a water spring like this. Chukbangnyam is a traditional fishing method using a V-shaped bamboo screen trap with 300 oak stakes that are each 10 meter long. Set against the tide, the method uses seawater flows at the relatively rapid speed of 13 to 15 km per hour to gather fish in the bamboo trap. It says it takes about 700 meters from the Chukbangnyam Museum to the Chukbangnyam Observation Deck, but don't let it fool you. You'll have to walk a lot more than that. So if you're traveling by car, it's better to park your car near the observation deck. Chukbangnyam was a lot bigger than it seemed from the distance, and looking up closely, it was much more interesting. It is really huge, yeah. bigger than I thought. Now we're back at Nam bus terminal. Did you enjoy our video? I hope you enjoyed it. And you can discover your own, own hidden charms of Nam so please come visit this beautiful coastal city. We'll see you guys on the next episode.